to give the floor to our online to the topic. Thank you. Uh, today, we are here to talk about the concept of fiber. Uh, how the direction written Who finally agreed to no introduction in this all then I did. Briefly introduce him. We all development The primary uh, brain behind the architecture of the internet. So, then the American Registry for Internet Retention of National Research Initiatives and Defense Advanced Research Project against Iraq. He is a fellow of IEEE. He has also been awarded He has been awarded Thank him to She has been involved and she in a society. Communication and consistency and trust in the governance primarily related to the youth and Uh, when I would like to ask you, uh, like, internet reporting has been uh, here for a long time since I guess 1998, uh, uh, and you have also been dissenting in the ISO for the chapter. But I would like to ask, like, why this renewed in this area? Because it was. Uh,
So thank you very much. I hope you can all hear me. Uh, I'm asking the uh, ADC. A quick uh, introduction to where this interplanetary network Everything crashed. there is three big Spain can And then we landed again uh, in 2004 uh, with the Spirit and Opportunity. So the team. now next year so we decided to start working on an interplanetary backbone network was that we ought to be able to use TCP IP it works on earth why wouldn't it between Earth and three and a half minutes for the signal to go and of course three and a half minutes to come back when we're part in our orbits it's 235 million miles that's 20 minutes one Minutes are rotating. We're developing a new switch that we now call the bundle protocols. Oh, there's another problem. On something on Earth. anymore because whatever it was we started working on the bundle protocols and there are several features of it the most important one is it stores data in the network which the internet does not do the low latencies you just leave it stored at the at the source and retransmit if necessary imagine that you're transmitting from earth the world you want to do is to throw to the
bundle, bundle protocol. With regard to uh, DNS lookups and routing and things like that, protocol is trans. It's a two-phase lookup, one to get to the right planet. So we set up a group of people to standardize the in day, uh, space data systems, CCSDS. Standards organization and are ratified there. At the same time, standardization of finding our mistakes and fixing them. And I realize I'm running started our work in 1998. We had I'd kill a bit. So they turned in any case the From overheating or damaging the really grumpy. X band rate. sent to Mars a couple of years before to map so And data until it gets to the right place in its orbit to transmit. To the orbiters is 128 kilobits a second. And because the orbiters are outside of the atmosphere and have more power and bigger antennas, they can transmit. Tiny little network with three nodes, basically, the orbiters, the ones on the ground, and Earth, demonstrated the utility of store and forward packet switching, which has been used. So we are at the point today where uh, we well, whether these protocols. So one of the missions uh, in, uh, let's see if I can find where it was, uh, in 2012, uh, we had an astronaut environment. When you have low latency, they work just at the bottom of the screen here. So we used an optical transceiver from uh, 
and run the bundle. Demonstrated that these new kinds of protocols operate both at high speed. So I have a lot of other slides here. Work. What I National Space Station with the We now launched the Artemis 1 mission, and some of our protocols are on board uh, the small uh, spacecraft, small sats that are part of the uh, Artemis mission. Society. It was formed in 1998. We now have a team of about 30 people implementing the bundle protocols all around the Earth, around on planet Earth. A very different problem, and I'll end here. deploy some immediately right away at the beginning Own a mine on the moon? In which juristic agreements called Artemis Accords that are basically conventions, they're not treaties, but they're conventions by the parties who are participating. We have been asking those questions of ourselves in the interplan a communication system. How do we make that work just like we've had to make it work for the internet? Lots of different parties operating different pieces of the internet. Same argument. Fictional regime. I apologize if I've gone over time, but I can hope you can see. like I'm in chapter two. That was. Uh, am I going? So uh, that was a particularly good background on the interplanetary networking. So I can uh, thank you very much, Mohammed. So I would like to ask uh, Lind and all speakers uh, the question about what uh, challenges uh, do you observe towards a widespread adoption and continuous standardization of the interplanetary networking? Or geospatial Well, I think they hit
schematic example of that. But there are lots and lots of other satellites already up there. I'm sad to say that space has already become militarized in the sense that there are space capabilities to shoot other people's satellites out of the sky. These are developments which I had hoped would not happen. So the consequences of that are that as we think about uh, not only our low Earth orbiting uh, assets, but also the possibility of exploring the solar system, uh, having private property, uh, how do we... create new into a IP address spaces for each of the lowercase internets that we have on the very second thing though is that we also need identifiers for the interplanetary bundle we will almost certainly copy the autonomous system idea I'm thinking right now about a possible solar orbit series of uh, relays so that no matter where you are in the solar system you might be able to see a, uh, a sun in order to get to other parts of the solar system. Uh, it's Um, routing because some to the planetary motion.
uh, is that to New York. Sometimes there's congestion, but system is more like planning so what as to do you have another comment or Like, uh, I imagine motion uh, happens, so there is the close distance between the Earth and Mars uh, to send this space. Right? So, the, the idea of, of routing in, in these terms is uh, I tell you, there's In the uh, in the internet, is it congestion? Very system stores. congestion control in a system like that is harder than the internet that we have today. Uh, there's a man named uh, Leonard Kleinrock who was at UC dissertation in 19... Um, to see how pack You know, we have this interplanetary backbone idea. A terrestrial internet. And he came back with several pages worth of, of fairly hairy mathematics and said, and said, this is a hard problem. See me after. Uh, we also have heard uh, some uh, we have a lawyer with us uh, it's our hello everyone I hope I hope you can hear me well um, so I'm the first All of us. You know, to throw. Um, so I'm a lawyer, uh, I'm not but, uh, I did my shall pay attention that Shapiro is a professor of economics from from Berkeley. 
built on top. Um, how, you know, how can we keep into model and when it comes to, uh, to interplanetary networks. So this They're completely free. Uh, they are strictly voluntary. They're sometimes they're available from CCSDS uh, and. Uh, charges you for access to those standards, but they're all the same. So the community that's doing the interplanetary work believes be paid for. of patenting a piece of software, although to be quite blunt and frank with you, I think patenting software, the decision that had been made to patent software had not been made. When access to software has been so important and valuable, 
Just a small example of that. Everybody will remember well, some of you anyway. You might not even. Was that. Call. And he said he did that because that's what Bob Cameron and I. After that, he also. And the cool thing about the browser. One had this feature where if you thought this was a cool website, you could say, What was the HTML they used to make the website? And so you could do show. So, so the HTML. Of innovation. heavily in a piece of software or a piece of hardware uh, that I've had more you, know, you could make other arguments at Google for example because we didn't want to have to pay open source versions VP where we can now I would like to pass the floor to our fourth speaker Mauricia Likely, room. in the session as well. And say a multi-stakeholder. I'd like to focus uh, on the social challenges that I'm quite conscious just in South Africa. are currently using and when we look at this disparity in our rural communities I wanted to ask interplanetary network How will this affect the uh, outcome for women and girls in underprivileged communities? Who
many, many different samples. The idea that, uh, that she has with federated learning is that you can imagine, I mean, learning for what they are picking up. Uh, and what's an interesting role not together is that you get a really smart system that recognizes uh, well, any of you saw a film uh, in, from the US And it was women who did that. One of the people in my systems engineering majors and English majors uh, from IBM he said, well, you have to unlearn Of, uh, of computer science classes and math class, uh, classes has declined from the 50%, 50-50 level, really less than that. Hey guys, it's young ones in case you don't know that. Uh, they're full of hormones and everything else. We need you here. at the table. Um, so I, I don't think the protocols themselves have very much an equal and the same thing goes Sometimes there are cultures that say went to take classes or be educated. Part. Uh, firstly, we have a question from the chat, uh, then there will be time. Oh, you can. The question from Bohan. which are three about which I know nothing to know. in order to get the cost of launch uh, lower and lower over time. Uh, it's lift cable. 
And of course, watching. is if or agencies in the private sector, in my view, is a really powerful combination. There's a term for this, it's called hypergolic, and that means if you mix the two things together, private sector partnership. Okay, I think you were the first one. This is this is my good friend Khaled Fatal. Okay, so what should I take a quick Online? Okay. Uh, my name is Khaled Fatal. I'm the chairman of the MLI group and I've been the champion of making the global internet multilingual when dinosaurs used to roam through the whistles process. We were there. We were there. We were the dinosaurs. Where are the fucking dinosaurs? So, on, uh, this is on a lighthearted note. No. Uh, Vint, I share with you your horror. The thought that um, today space has been militarized. And here's a thought I'm going to ask you and, and propose to the, to the audience. In the, in the process of developing this interplanetary internet, to avoid that space becoming militarized, what if we recognize that Part of the fact that they got the it's for the development to do with in and the extraterrestrial species we might discover. If we make it about serving humanity, you'll be existing. and we get all of our political leaders to acknowledge this it's just a thought something uh, for us well, to consider it, what it, do you think Vint? well here's here the two now problems. you've claimed that i'm your friend as well so. yes so uh, first issue is that it's a space um i and they talk about extraterrestrials and say if we ever get to that point then we'll be worried about martian porn or something <laughs> um well, we'll let me let, let me su let me suggest to you that we might be able to go part of the way to where you want to go think about the law of the sea and think about the practices that we have adopted control and areas that we consider to be in international waters space property on the moon that ownership It's the of rescue.
the area to respond. And so the idea that as you are suggesting, Still there, still there, still literally, literally collaborate and share. And so you see a lot of joint missions. The International Space Station is in multiple relays in the current market. Opportunity to go in the direction that you're suggesting, Khalid, and try to adopt. Collaborate and share our. Private, uh, they do in the internet. There are private pieces of internet. There are public pieces of internet. There are academic pieces, and they all play together because they adopt. Be made for the interplanetary network. So I hope it comes out that way. You saw so many late train them because they have not picked up the bad habits. If we bring in something that exists, we end up getting stuck in the quite It's much easier to adopt. The bottom line, we can implement other models. Sovereignties. in the sense that there are multi-party agreements. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and also... I I so oh, sure. <laughs> ...safety and everything else. And, and the same... I'm Um, connectivity, the system doesn't break because it just holds on to things until the links come back up again. So the protocol doesn't, uh, it doesn't get excited about it like TCP would. So I have to say, though, that using the internet when your country does potentially locatable, you know, thinking that just because it's a satellite-based system or just because it's delay tolerant that somehow
is delay and disruption tolerant networking to track the reindeer by putting trans. Sometimes they're in radio. In this very. herders. And so there's an example of a very practical thing. You can imagine um, devices that are, are doing a state, for example, or maybe uh, there are sensors that are uh, concerned about Earth. Those sensors probably won't be in continuous connectivity. You service those episodic and, and um, uh, say, uh, sporadic communications. So I think Some of you planetary networks up there, uh, follow what's going on, and maybe even contribute to it. And it would be so I welcome you to call up by other uh, user speakers as well. You have been very kind to set your point. Topic, but it was great to have such a uh, everyone please join the says that uh, the future different development taking place artificial intelligence There's been a lot of um, collaborating well with, with Mauricio.